I had moved to Bartlett, Iowa back in 1938 when I was just 11 years old. Little did I know all of the experiences that would lie ahead of me. Back before the Depression, Bartlett was a booming town with a lot to offer. But sadly, many businesses were shut down that couldn't stand to stay in business due to hard economic times. We were left with one gas station and one grocery store. One night, when I was between the ages of 12 and 14, my buddies Merv Foster and Butch Morrison were all hanging out in town. There was an old abandoned building that used to be a funeral parlor that was rumored to be haunted. Many people in town had always said they had seen reflections and candlelights in the window with shadowy figures, but no one dared to go in. Being the young whippersnapper daredevils we were, we all decided about 11 p.m. we would go in and see for ourselves if this place was really haunted. After breaking in through the side door, we walked to an entryway to see upstairs, the part that was supposedly haunted. We all carefully walked to the entryway and were about to head up the stairs, but we all froze. As I looked up to start climbing the stairs, there it was. As best as I can describe it, there was a white smoky silver light in an upright position in the form of a person. There was no face, but it definitely resembled a person. You could feel the presence. We all stood there shaking in our britches. We stared at this figure for what seemed about 15 seconds before we bolted out the way we came. We were absolutely terrified and never went back. Although it was scary at the time, throughout the years Butch, Merv, and I would reminisce about that night and it sure does make for a great story.